Did you know that the human brain has 11 dimensions? It's true. And in recent weeks, we've also found out where life might exist in the solar system and how we can prevent Danny DeVito from ever being born. So let's find out what we've just found out as we look at some of the insane things science has just discovered. Starting at number 5, the 11 dimensional brain. The Swiss. They have brought us pen knives, cuckoo clocks, cheese with holes in, and the concept of making sweet dollars from bloodthirsty tyrannical regimes. But just a few days ago, a team from EPFL Institute may have topped all that when they discovered that the human brain operates in 11 different dimensions. The Blue Brain Project is a Swiss endeavor geared towards creating a supercomputer-powered reconstruction of the human brain. Using a complex branch of mathematics called algebraic topology, neuroscientists created a detailed model of a human neocortex. When they did so, they discovered its neurons form into cliques. And when a high amount of neurons are present, the brain's connections work themselves into a multi-dimensional geometric object. This study provides a fascinating insight into the mysterious workings of the human brain. But what this means for concepts such as independent thought and consciousness, we're not yet sure. Number 4. Breakfast Prevents Short Racists Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? The character of Frank Reynolds seems to have a bit of a thing for eggs, but in real life, Danny DeVito sure doesn't. Because if he'd eaten them as a child, he wouldn't be 4 foot 10. A six-month Ecuadorian study has shown that undernourished children can grow taller by eating eggs. After 160 youngsters were fed one egg every day for six months, it was discovered they had grown taller than their non-eggy counterparts. According to the World Health Organization, 155 million children under 5 are stunted because of poor nutrition. Poor nutrition causes permanent stunting in the first two years of your life. And by that I mean it makes you short. There are no toddlers pulling awesome BMX moves whenever they're hungry. But whatever you do, don't give your kids toast to go with that egg. According to a study from the University of Lübeck, high-carb diets make you less tolerant. Conversely, a low-carb diet, which tends to contain more protein to fill you up, helps to increase dopamine in your blood, which makes you more tolerant. So there you go. Feed your kids eggs and other proteins, unless you want them turning out like Frank Reynolds. Which would actually be awesome, now I think about it. At 3. The Cradle of Humanity Ain't All That until last week, it was widely accepted that human beings first evolved out of a single region of Africa 200,000 years ago. The idea of a single Garden of Eden somewhere in the African continent was a pretty well-entrenched and accepted theory, backed with the evidence we've dug up thus far. However, a study published in the journal Nature threatens to rewrite the textbooks, with research indicating there was no single cradle the explosion of humanity took place over the entire African continent. Professor Chris Stringer of the UK's National History Museum elaborated on this, raising the possibility that fossils found in Israel may show that Homo sapiens might have started outside of Africa as well. And furthermore, this may have happened much further back in time than we ever thought possible. Just recently, a bombshell of evidence was unearthed in Morocco, where five skeletons identified as Homo sapiens were found and dated. They could be as old as 350,000 years. So when did we truly first appear? Just how old is the human race? 2. The Hottest Hot Jupiter The planet Kelt 9b may not have the most inspiring name, but this bizarre world has certainly caught the imagination of planetary scientists. It orbits the Kelt 9 star, 620 light-years from Earth, 
and it does so once every two days at a distance one-tenth of that between Mercury and our Sun. Because of its proximity, Kelt 9b is tidally locked, meaning only one side of the planet ever faces its star. And boy, is this fella going to wake up sore in the morning. Average temperatures on the planet's surface? A balmy 4,300 degrees Celsius. By comparison, our Sun is 5,505 degrees Celsius, and the surface of Mercury is just 430 degrees Celsius. The surface temperatures on this incredible world are actually hotter than the surface of many stars, and this has some bizarre effects on the planet's structure. Kelt 9b, which is the hottest gas giant ever discovered, sheds material as it orbits its star, making it look like a colossal comet flying through space. The immense temperatures have also caused it to puff up like a souffle, making it only half as dense as Jupiter, despite being three times larger. There's even a possibility that metal rain exists on this planet, with its storms looking like something a teenaged T-1000 would produce alone in his robot bedroom when Skynet is out for groceries. This planet will eventually lose its outer layers to reveal a rocky core, and in about 200 million years, its sun, which is twice as big as our own, will expand to a red giant and swallow it whole. And at number one, potential life on Enceladus. If you want to find life on enchiladas, leave them in a hot car for a week. If you're looking for signs of microbial life on Enceladus, the sixth largest moon of Saturn, then you might want to check out its plumes. In April 2017, the Cassini spacecraft reported back to NASA with data regarding large plumes of water erupting from beneath Enceladus's icy crust. There is known to be a liquid ocean beneath the surface of Enceladus. But what we didn't know was that hydrogen was present within the geothermal plumes that shoot out of it. On Earth, plumes like this are extremely hot, and this heat helps hydrothermal chemical reactions take place at the bottom of our oceans. Such reactions enable microbial life to thrive. And this is just one theory for how life on Earth kicked off in the first place. Meaning, this process may be happening right now on Enceladus. Pasha, but haven't we heard all this before? Aren't we always on the verge of discovering major things just like this? Like, seriously, bruh? When will we actually confirm life on other worlds? Bruh? Seriously? Bruh? Well, in 10 to 15 years, bruh. And soon we may also discover a cure for cancer, and whether or not we live inside the Matrix as well. We're going to find out how in our bonus video, Eminent Discoveries Which Will Change Mankind, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and indeed all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then it's cool. We still love you. And we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions. As you'll find out by watching our recent video on reasons why humans are part alien.